Hello friends and subscribers, a warm welcome back to Daniel's Tech World here on YouTube. My name's Daniel Rosal, this is my tech channel on YouTube. And uh, today I thought I would do a little experiment. I was reading um, the website of a great little uh, tool that I use to get the news here in Israel. It's called dailyam.com. And uh, they mentioned that they have an AI generated podcast. So I was thinking, okay, AI is, uh, that's pretty cool to be able to uh, to do that. I think we've all seen that text to speech has really come on in recent years from these really, really bad kind of synthesized voices to voices that are actually pretty good. So that got me thinking, wait, what if I could just train up some model on my voice and use that for text to speech? So a couple of Google searches later and I came across voice cloning. And one of the first tools that I stumbled on was this thing called resemble.ai, which I'm going to jump into now. Uh, this is it. And I have basically uh, trained up a voice, my voice, by giving it 51 audio samples, right? And I can improve it at any time by giving it more samples up to 100 samples. And the sampling process is just like you read out one sentence after one sentence, um, sentences like this and you record that with your microphone upload it and that builds up the model uh, so I've done 51 samples so it's not like kind of as good as it could be but I'm about halfway there let's say um, and I thought I would do a test comparing my actual voice to the AI clone so I'm going to just read this off and then I'm going to run this through the model and we'll see the difference okay this is this is the real me firstly hi this is Daniel Rosal welcome back to my YouTube channel this is a test to see whether an AI generated clone of my voice can actually manage to sound like me. I've given the model 50 voice samples, so let's see how it does. I live in Jerusalem. I'm originally from Cork in Ireland, and uh, I think that's probably enough to see whether this is any good or not. Okay, so this is what it looks like on the inside. I have started a new project. I'm going to drop in my text I just read off the clipboard, and then I'm going to do generate. Uh, and then we're going to see what this sounds like. It's going to take probably 10 seconds or so, and I'm going to put my microphone on mute so we can hear the output. Hi, this is Daniel Rosehill. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is a test to see whether an A-generated clone of my voice can actually manage to sound like me. I've given the model 50 voice samples, so let's see how it does. I live in Jerusalem. I am originally from Quark in Ireland. And I think that's probably enough to see whether this is any good or not. So I'd be really interested to hear what people think of how Resemble.ai did with my voice. Obviously, I have an Irish accent. I'm originally from Ireland. And I don't think that really came through in the uh, voice. I mean, it was kind of like a little bit there, but I think it made, made me mostly sound American and uh, kind of had this slightly mechanical feel to it. Uh, but I'm really curious to see whether with another 50 uh, samples training the model a bit more, uh, this can get substantially better. In any event, so many forms of AI tech are really just emerging at the moment. And I expect that over the next couple of years, these, these are going to get really, really good. So I would give that voice cloning maybe like a five out of 10 or maybe a six to be a little bit generous. I don't think if I were to uh, feed it some text and do TTS uh, and put that out as a podcast, people would think it's actually me. It just sounds a little bit off, um, but it's not terrible for an emerging tech. So that's my quick review and sample of using resemble.ai to try to clone my voice. If you have thoughts on how it did, leave them in the uh, comments. Thanks for watching today's video. Subscribe to get more here on YouTube.